Hi guys, happy Thursday and welcome back to my channel, Couponing with Kayla. I'm so happy that you're joining me for another video. I hope that you guys are having a great day today so far. So we're gonna run into Publix and grab a few deals this week. We got some food deals and we got some other pretty good deals. So uh, we just dropped off Chloe at school. Axel is snuggled up with his blanket in the car. Um, but we're gonna venture out into the store and see what all we can pick up. Uh, as always, I will have a printable list below the video so you can print that out, take it to the store with you, and it's going to help make your shopping trip super easy. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I hope that you find it helpful. And if you do, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss any new videos. Leave me a comment and let me know what's your favorite deal this week. But otherwise, we're going to go ahead, we're going to get in here and check out these deals. <laughs> So this week, the Arm & Hammer is on sale because we've got a $3 instant savings. So that $3 is going to come off at the register, and you can submit this to Ibotta. I have a $4 rebate, making it just $4.99. The next thing I was going to pick up is the Arm & Hammer Cat Litter. This is buy one, get one free this week for $13.99, but unfortunately, my store is all out. But if your store allows it, you could get a rain check. Next, I'm going to show you a few different ways that you can do the Tina Pads deal, and this one is going to be a moneymaker. So I grabbed four packs of the Tina Pads at $6.39 each, and that will total $25.56. I'm using four of these store coupons you can get out of the extra savings flyer at the front of the store. And then I printed four $4 off one coupons from the coupons.com website. I printed two from my phone and two from Chloe's phone, so if you have a way to print four, go ahead and do that. After these coupons, we are going to be at free and a $2.44 moneymaker. But on top of that, we have a 10 off 25 digital that may glitch with the paper coupons, making this free and a $12.44 moneymaker. Now, if you don't have a way to print the $4 coupons, you can use those $3 store coupons and use the 10 off 25, making it $3.56 for all four. Another awesome moneymaker deal is on this President whipped cream. So it's $6.49 and we're going to grab one of the regular whipped cream and we're going to grab one of the extra creamy ones. So we're going to submit this to Ibotta for a dollar back on each one and on Shopkick they're giving 800 kicks for each one. So that's 1600 kicks which totals $6.40 back and making these free and a $1.91 moneymaker. Next, I'm going to grab some bread. So we don't have any coupons for this, but I like this bread. It's like nice and thick. Um, it's $6.49. And then we also have the hot dog buns that are part of this. So I'm going to grab these as well. Next, we're going to do a Pillsbury deal for buy one, get one free, but we do have a digital coupon and an I bought a rebate. So I'm grabbing the cookies. If you live in any state other than Florida, you can get one pack of these at half price. So that's what I'm going to do. It's going to be $2.39. Then I'm going to grab the pizza crust that's $4.19, buy one, get one free. So I'm going to grab two of these. All these items total me $6.58, and we have $1.50 off three digital. So we're going to pay $5.08 in the store, but get a dollar back on three on Ibotta. So it makes it $4.08 for all three. Next, we have our Eggo waffles. These are buy one, get one free this week. I'm just going to grab one, but if you print a dollar coupon off the Kellogg's website, you can get two of them for $2.35, but I already used up my prints for the month. So next, I'm going to grab some of the toaster strudels, buy one, get one free at $3.45. No coupons for this, but my kids like these, so I'm going to go ahead and pick them up. Next, we're going to grab some of the blue bunny ice cream. So they just started putting these in the little pint. It's the twist ones. Axel loves these. So he picked out a strawberry and a chocolate one for us. So we're going to go ahead and use a couple of coupons for this. I get emails from blue bunny. So if you don't sign up on their website and you can get some too, it's going to give you a 75 cent off of one. So I printed two of these and that's going to get me down to $3.39 for both pints of ice cream. And you can get the twist cones, but my store was all out of them. So if your kids like Lunchables or you like Lunchables, they're buy one, get one free this week. So I'm going to go ahead and grab two for $3.28. I grabbed Axel the bologna ones, but they only had one of this pepperoni and mozzarella, and Chloe likes it. So I'm going to get it. It'll still be half price. 
Next, we're going to grab the Springer Mountain Chicken. Buy one, get one free at $4.99. And we have printable coupons. You can get these $1.50 printables sent to your email when you sign up on their website. It takes $3 off, making it just $1.99 for both bags. And this is a really good deal. I used this to make some buffalo chicken dip not long ago. Next, we have the ground turkey. Buy one, get one free this week. So grab two for $6.29. No coupons, but if you can do half BOGO, you can grab one for just $3.14. Next, I'm going to grab some of this Albronzo Barilla Pasta. It's $2.09, and I have $1.50 off one digital. So it'll be just $0.59 cents for one. But if you want to grab two, you could do that. Use that $1.50 digital. And then we also have an Ibotta rebate for a dollar back. So your final cost would be $1.68 for two. All right, guys, this cart is looking nice, and we're about to head over to self-checkout, and then we'll go over the receipt once we get home and talk final cost. This is my total with tax and before any coupons. So if you're using a store coupon, you are going to type it in like you would a fruit or vegetable if you're at self-checkout. If you're at regular checkout, they'll type it in for you, but it's that little code down at the bottom. This is my total after just pay for coupons. So this is my total right here after all of our coupons. All right, guys. So we are back in the car from Publix. The transaction went really well. Um, I did self checkout like I normally do over at Publix. Woo! There was Axel. Um, he was snoozing this morning when we did our intro. Um, but so while we were at the self checkout, Axel was scanning the items and I'm bagging them. And then uh, when I did my coupons, I let him put them in the slot and everything. So um, as we were at the self checkout, once I scanned like three of the store coupons, I think it was. Um, I typed them in, um, the cashier came over and was asking me like what coupons I was using. So I was like, you know, these are the store coupons from your flyer, they're one per item. And I bought four, I'm using four. And she was like, okay. So then um, she stands there as I'm scanning my like 10 coupons for $4 off one and they're one per purchase. So if the coupon is one per purchase, uh, the way that it works is that is per purchase of the item. If it's one per transaction, that means you can only use one for your entire transaction which most of you guys know that I mean if you're newer to couponing you know it takes a little while to figure out all the terminology of the coupons and all that now the cashier I don't think that she really understood because she was like oh well you used those coupons already and I was like yes ma'am I was like I used the um, store coupon and then I use the manufacturer coupon because you can stack a manufacturer and a store coupon and she's like okay so then she's like watching me scan them and then after I scan like three of those she comes and she She's like reading the coupon and she was nice but you know I understand they don't want you to do anything that you shouldn't do and, you know they don't want to get in trouble and I understand that and I try to be friendly and I try to you know nicely explain how it works if they don't know um, without being like I know and you don't you know or anything like that you know what I mean so Anyway, so she held on to my fourth coupon and didn't um, scan it yet. So then she watched me scan my ice cream coupons. And I was like, I'm using two of these. And I got two ice creams. And then I was like, um, this one's for the chicken. And I got two chicken. I'm using two of these coupons. And she's like, okay. And then after I got done with those, um, and Axel was putting them in the slot for me, uh, she scanned the fourth uh, tenna coupon for the $4 off. And she was like, because she was like, I don't know if it's going to take this. And then when she scanned it, it went through fine. And she's like, oh, okay. And then she also seemed shocked because she was watching like the whole time. She seemed shocked when I typed in my phone number and then digital coupons came off as well. So anyways, um, it took me a little longer to get finished at checkout just because like sometimes when the cashier's standing there and just like watching everything you do, it's like even if you know you're not doing anything wrong, it makes you feel like kind of like like nervous or like am I, like, am I doing something I shouldn't do, you know? Um, but you guys, we're going to go home. We're going to go over the receipt. We're going to talk final cost of everything we picked up. Um, that $10 digital coupon, the 10 off 25, it did glitch with the paper coupon. Now, remember, if something is a glitch, it's not supposed to happen. So you can't say, hey, my digital didn't come off for that. It was supposed to glitch with these paper coupons. You can't do that. If it works, it's awesome. If it doesn't, it's okay. But you got to go in knowing, hey, this is my total if that doesn't work. And it was a great deal either way. So it was really awesome that that did come off and I had a couple of other digital coupons come off, but otherwise we're gonna go home, we're gonna go over the receipt and talk final costs for everything that we picked up today. You ready? Wait, wait. wait. You ready to go home? Hey, I'm gonna have to turn the power back on. <laughs> <laughs> you're a nut, you're a nut. Oh my God, I cannot. <laughs> 
guys, I'm back home and this is my Publix haul right here. So we got some good stuff today. I'm really, really happy with this haul. Everything that you see right here originally would have cost us $121.40 and that is before sale prices and before coupons. Now, of course, we had some buy one get one free sales. We had other sales and also had our coupons. So let's go ahead and see how much we actually paid. If you look here at the receipt, you can see all the different um, promotions and discounts and everything. Um, then right down here, you can see the coupons. So we have the four store coupons there. Then we had the manufacturer coupons. So if you go down there, you can see all of the paper coupons I used um, for those coupons. Then I had my digital coupons for the Barilla, the Pillsbury, and also that 10 off 25 came off that worked on the 10 of pads. So my total was 3176 plus tax. If you look right down here, you can see the store coupons of $12, uh, vendor coupons, which is the manufacturer coupons for $33.50. And the special price savings, like buy one, get one free, and other sale prices saved us $44. 14. So that was a savings of $89.64. So I went ahead, I paid that $31.76 with my PayPal debit card. Then I submitted over to the rebate apps. On Ibotta, I ended up getting back $7. And that was for um, the President, the Arm and Hammer, and also the Pillsbury, I believe. Then I submitted my receipt over there to Shopkick. And on Shopkick, we got back a total of $6.40 for these two whipped cream right here. So final cost for everything that you see right here, you guys, was $18.36. I have 24 items here, so that's about 76 cents per item. And I'm really happy with that because like I said, got a lot of things I need. Just to give you guys an example, I know um, someone said once sometime like on a video, why do you explain like why you buy certain things? And I mean, I don't know. That's just, I just do that. So um, I want to give you guys just a quick example. So this Tenna pads, these were free and a money maker. Then you take that money maker and buy things that you would already be purchasing that you want or need for your family. So the Tenna pads, I normally end up donating these. So it was free and a money maker. I can donate those. The Arm & Hammer detergent is not the kind that we personally use most of the time. So I have a friend that actually likes to purchase this from me and I sell that. So I'm making more than I actually paid for it, of course. And then I think with all the food deals this week, I thought it was really good because we got chicken, we got ground turkey, I got the pizza crust, so I can kind of work with those things to make some meals. And if you guys have been watching my grocery shopping on a budget video that I've been posting, I didn't post one this week because last week Chloe had her play at school and some nights we ended up like going out to eat and different things like that. So I didn't end up doing all my meals that I had planned out for the week. So I went ahead and did some of those this week. So I should be back with that video probably next week. But um, these items I think are really great to pick up and put away. Like I said, the last time I got this, um, it lasts for quite a while in the fridge and I ended up making a buffalo chicken dip for my birthday um, and everybody really liked it. It was really good and all I did was just like chop this up into like little cubes and stuff. So it worked out really nicely for that. But of course you could you know, have so many uses out of that. Anyways, let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite deal today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Grab your free printable list and all your money-saving apps in the description box below. Don't forget to check out my Walgreens haul this week as well as my Target haul. Lots of good savings over there at those stores as well, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.